Listen to Pastor Jennings. That's right. Hey, Francis. That's right. Francis, I said. <laughs> I'm challenging the Pope of Rome for an international televised discussion. I want your Pope. Listen to Pastor Jennings. I want your Pope. I don't want an altar boy. I don't want a weak priest. I don't want a cheap archbishop. I want your Pope. What the Pope said, that is nothing wrong to have same-sex marriages outside of church. He's a blasphemer. He's a promoter of abomination. He called God a lie. He called the Bible a lie. And as a result, I'm calling him a liar. That's right. Tell him I said I want to face that hypocrite. He blasphemed. Leviticus 20, 13. If a man also lie with if mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As he lies with a as woman. As he lie with a woman. Both of them. Both. Have committed an abomination. Both have committed an abomination. An abomination. They shall surely be put they to shall death. Surely be put to death. Their blood shall their be upon blood, them. Their blood. Their blood shall be upon them. Shall be upon them. That's right. That's how bad God hated. That's right. Tell him I said I want to face that hypocrite. He blasphemed. Amen. How in the world the Pope gonna say it's all right for same sex to get married outside the church? You are vain in your imagination. Right. You are vain in it. Became vain. It's, it's a sin for you to even go to the wedding. It's a sin to give a gift to a same-sex marriage. That's right. It's a sin for you to participate in a same-sex marriage. That's right. It's a sin if you're a photographer to even photograph a same-sex marriage. That's right. It's a sin if you're a musician to even play for a same-sex marriage. That's right. It's a sin if you are a songster to even sing at a same-sex marriage. That's right. It's a sin if you are a preacher to perform a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you are a seamstress to make a gown or a dress for a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you are a baker to bake a cake for a same-sex marriage. That's right. Leviticus 20, 13. If a man also lie with if mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As he lies with a as woman. As he lie with the woman. Both of them. Both. Have committed an abomination. Both have committed. An abomination. An abomination. They shall surely be put they to death. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall their be upon blood, them. Their blood. Their blood shall be upon them. Shall be upon them. That's right. That's how bad God hated. That's right. In the Old Testament, they took a sword yeah. and cut you. Yeah. In the New Testament, I come with the sword. That's right. Because the word of God, word of God. to sever ties right. between two men. That's right. Amen. Because you blind, deceived folk, you think when the Pope talk, that's God talking. No. When the Pope talk, that's the devil talking. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. I said the leader of the Catholic Church is a liar sent by the devil. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Says what? Who changed the truth of God into a lie. You want to change the truth. Mm. Truth is Adam and Eve. That's right. The lie is Adam and Steve. <laughs> no man <laughs> established the law of marriage. That's right. The law of marriage, God installed it. That's right. God enforced it. That's right. God established it. That's right. And every man that come along today must hold the law of marriage in the same manner that God established it yesterday. That's right. Why? God said, I'm the same. Today and yesterday. Glory to God, hallelujah, and forevermore. Because you blind, deceived folk, you think when the Pope talk, that's God talking. No, when the Pope talk, that's the devil talking. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. I said the leader of the Catholic Church is a liar. Sent by the devil.